what's going on guys um i'm having issues with my tilt and trim motor going up and down it's like a intermitting issue so i figured i'll make a video showing you guys how i'm gonna at least try and fix it so well let me turn it on real quick. all right so first turn on the batteries boat's a little dirty i haven't been out in it in a while all right so see it's going out button there pressing the button it's not going down see that it's not going down press the up now it's up not going down don't mind all the leaves same here see doesn't want to go down doesn't want to go down so Show you how I'm gonna try and fix this issue. First, I gotta take the cover off. All right, so once you have the cover off, come here. This is your switch, tilt and temp, trim switch. Wires, fo follow the harness. You see you got the plug here. And then what you wanna do is see right here, look. This green wire is pulled out. So you just wanna yank on these wires just a little bit and see if they're gonna pop out. So now I gotta push this wire in and I believe that will fix my tilt and trim issue. Unplug it, but yeah, so come here look at these wires and give them just a pull See if any of them pull out Now well, You see how that one's out Let me Put the camera down push it in and I'll show you it might fix that issue Now you see it's pushed back in right there. Connect these two together. And press the button here. See? That's pretty easy fix. I've had this happen. This is a 2000 and I'd like to say six Evinrude E-Tech 225. Now let's see if this here works. Let's button it down. So that's not working. So that's probably a different issue, but at least here we got this button working. All right, so I showed you guys how to fix this switch here. And I was having that issue up, down, working just fine now so going to this switch up here i can work it up up but not down not down it's not going down so i started to take this cover off here to look at the inside of the switch and then i was inspecting this down here and when i looked if you could see the green wire which is the same green wire I was at that switch this one here is cut so it probably got corroded and then it just broke off because at that point right there in the throttle it's kind of where it twists down so I figured out the issue on this hand switch so in a case like this where the wire gets broken on here what you could do is you could just either cut it back to where it's uh, cleaner and solder wire here to there, make a new connection with that wire, or you could just buy the little switch set, which you would have to replace this switch here, run the wire that goes down to here. And this is a mess, sorry, but it's this 
wire, this black wire here, and it goes and it unplugs right there. So you can see that right there. So that's it. You would just have to run this wire back up through there on the controls. Through here and there. So, yeah. All right, guys, that kind of wraps this video up. So with that button, it was a loose connection at the plug. And then with this issue was the broken wire that's down there, that green wire. I guess that's the wire that makes the motor go down. So yeah, goes to show that it could be two issues. It couldn't, you know, not just one. It could be two like this one, broken wire and loose connection so if you get stuck out on the water and your engine's not tilting up and down i would check that so hope you learned something like and subscribe peace